comes in a variety of different stages, different stages. So I'm going to mostly focus on hepatic alpha heads of production. So this is a uh, data set with a recombinant DNA infused technology for the drug. Now, this is the basic introduction. What is the introduction alpha? It's a human and it's bad introduced in cell culture using hard data technology, I've said before. And this is some authenticated research is that it has been authenticated in the, this European medicine agency and it has been used to treat anemia, commonly associated chronic renal failure, cancer chemotherapy, which means this is most specifically has to be treated with anemia, but situated with cancer chemotherapy or radiotherapy effects or after effects or adverse effects of cancer or tumor inducing. Then this is basically a syringe type uh, drug and the quadrant alpha hexa 1000 IU stash point and this is the content you can have 6000 you can have 5000 and many more so it's a pre-filled syringe and it's a clear solution and that's it and you can see that there now the therapeutic acknowledgements the quadrant alpha hexa is known for the treatment of symptomatic anemia associated with chronic renal failures and just have said that it's not about anemia or something like that it's associated with this kind of drugs, this kind of diseases or tumors or other radiotherapic effects associated with the In adults and children aged between 1 to 18, now what it has done, they have separated uh, pediatric population and adult population. Adult population they have dissected in four or five stages and pediatric population they have dissected on three or three. These are clinical trials. And in adults you can see that there's a range 1 to 18 years and there's another thing that in adults renal insufficiency is not going to go dialysis for the treatment of severe anemia or renal patients. These are just basic concepts of how you can use it. Now, the treatment should be only given to patients with moderate and anemia. And this is, these are some dosage, 10 to 13. What we're going to do, we're going to stable the hemoglobin level at 12. If it goes up, then we will reduce the aquatic uh, alpha induction less than 25% and if it does go down or does go up so it will be adjusted in that very particular way and we show it how and there is an indication for non iron deficient another important part is that we will not use it if you have an iron deficiency in your know, problem and this is basically in adults so because if they are measured orthopedic surgery and have a high perceived risk of transfusion complications because this kind of thing so we don't prefer Alpha, which have yes. Now, the overview method of administration in order to ensure a optimal response to a quadrant alpha, I think the diet stores should be assured that iron supplementation is very nice. This I've said in the previous slides, so we have concentration of the iron deficiency or deficiencies. 